Here we go. Or, yeah, we're recording. Okay. I'm used to recording on the computer now instead of my phone, so it's a lot different now. Anyway, I am doing another unboxing because that seems to be what Nerdy Duck is known for now. Um, but if you follow me on TikTok, you know I've also done a few cosplay videos. Uh, not so much cosplay, but talking about cosplay. And I generally post them on Instagram as well. They don't do as well there, though. Actually, they don't do well at all. But I get a lot more hits on TikTok than YouTube, so here we go. Uh, but YouTube basically has become unboxing. And everything you see that I unbox, none of it is sponsored. All of it is bought by me, just in case anyone needs to know that. Um, I am trying to curb that spending a little bit because, you know money and all and because I have this event I want to go to in January so I need a car and I need money to go to said events so okay but anyway anyway I have recently been doing some research because of TikTok thank you TikTok and recently discovered that there's a good chance I have ADHD all right and that's been rather eye-opening and so I have decided because I know that for me, having a daily planner, or really a to-do list I check off daily, um, really works for me. And I've gone through a lot of different planners. And basically what I usually do here, let me show you, is I just have a notebook. This is an, an Electric Muse notebook. I buy them on Redbubble. This is a Fitzsimmons art. That's mostly what she does is Fitzsimmons, but they do sell this size notebook for just about any kind of design you imagine on Red Bull. And usually I just write a list and I check it off. Usually I only get like three or four things in a day, but we hope, right? And I've learned that for me, the basic things such as feeding my cat, I don't really need on a list. Okay. And also the cat will remind me if she's hungry. So, you know, she's like a child sometimes. <laughs> I call her that. I call her my baby. Um, she's not here, though. She doesn't do YouTube. I wanted her to. I really did. But, you know, cats have minds of their own. So, anyway, I have been looking for a new planner because I like planners. I don't often use them. Like I said, what usually works for me best is a to-do list. And, but I really admire like bullet journals. I do, but I don't do the whole doodling and making them pretty kind of thing. Cause if I'm doing that, then I ain't doing the planning. So I can do the doodling or I can do the planning. I, I can't do both. So I think that's a lot of my issue with a lot of the planners that I've seen, such as the happy planners, which I have one of, and I like because I went through, through Joann's and I spent a lot of time trying to pick out the right kind of planner. Um, but it just doesn't really work for me because it's, I still have to decorate it a lot. And I like fandom. And so, you know, I have Frozen stickers. I have, um, Star Wars stickers, Marvel, Harry Potter, and I decorate it, but it's not really what I had in mind. So then I found this shop on Etsy and you can get this bag on Hot Topic. If it's not sold out, it might be sold out. I don't know. Um, they have these Pygmy Puff stuff. <laughs> I love Pygmy Puffs. Um, I don't think you can see my Pygmy Puffs in this picture here, but I have this one. Yeah, I got that one. And then I have a big one, but I don't know where it is. Oh, right behind me. There it is. Anyway, so I love Pygmy Puffs. I think they're super cute. So this Magic Within Pins, it's on Etsy and on Instagram. Um, they have this stationary sets with pygmy puffs like this little notebook and the idea was i would keep it in my purse and use it and um it's still in the plastic and then they have stickers they also have a holographic sticker which i didn't care for because it was more i like things that are like in the movies my screen accurate but you know if you like holographic stickers it does exist and then they have these daily planner stickers, which I was going to use and didn't. And they have uh, washi tape too, I think, but I don't think I bought it. At least I don't see it, so I don't think I bought it. Often because I don't know what to do with washi tape. 
I like it. I like the idea of washi tape. I just don't know what to do with washi tape. Anyway, that's not the unboxing. That's just something I bought to go with the planners. And so then I found this sh shop. Where did I find it? I think I found it in the Weasley's Whimsical Wares group on Facebook, which is a kind of a dangerous group for me to be in because I end up spending money. Um, like this shirt, for example. Mm. You can get this at Just Beachin Creations. And she has one for all the different classes as well as different Harry Potter designs. I particularly want the one for the Weasley Weezes Employee of the Month. That's the one I want next. I haven't got it yet, but I will. Um, anyway, so I found this um, company called Conquest Journals. They do Supernatural. They do Harry Potter. They have different sticker sets for like Friends and I don't think they have Marvel. But, you know, they have several different fandoms and they're quite apparently well known for these planners. And I didn't know that because I've never actually seen a fandom planner before. And they have a couple different ones, but I chose to get the undated because me. I forget a lot. And I'll stop using a planner for like six months and then I'll come back and use it. So I thought an undated might be best so I don't waste my money. They weren't too expensive, but the shipping was kind of like more expensive than I thought it would be. I did go ahead and splurge and get the priority shipping because it was literally like a dollar fifty more. And so why not? And then it came on the day I had off. So I can do an unboxing because if it had come tomorrow, I would have had to wait. And I didn't want to do that. So anyway. Here we go. Uh, apparently, though, I also saw you can buy some of their products in the parks at, like, Universal Studios. Yes, let's see. The planner was, this is the Harry Potter Hogwarts Weekly Undated Disc Planner. So it's kind of like a happy planner in which it has those those rings, but and you can take things in and out. And I think that's quite handy, but the problem with the happy planners, you can only use happy planner stuff in happy planner, and that's kind of annoying. Which I guess is the same kind of idea here. But Happy Planner doesn't have Harry Potter. So anyway. It was $32.99. And that's a little more money than I wanted to spend on the planner. But after looking through all the pictures and the reviews. I really felt that it would be a planner that I would use. Especially since it's fandom. And I love fandom. And I didn't have to decorate it myself. And that really, really appealed to me. That it was already the fandom themed and I didn't have to do it myself because like I said I enjoy bullet journals but I don't like decorating it myself I want to come pre-decorated in whatever fandom I choose and to be fair happy journal happy journal happy planner does have like Disney I think but I'm not into Disney so that's not really me all right so here we go this is can you see that ah you can see that this has some of the spells on it. The undated happy disc planner. So fancy. Fancy, fancy. It has disc bound pages that are movable and removable. And that's, I mean, that really does appeal to me because that's the thing with a lot of the journals I've seen. You can't move the pages. Or like, like in the bullet journals, they encourage you to like tab pages. I'm like, what if you run out of pages? What if you need more pages than this, but you need less pages than that, and you can't move them? That's very annoying. It's an undated 12-month planner that starts when you're ready. <laughs> Never miss a week or a month. You can customize it. Five magical sticker sheets, including st character birthdays, and 12 monthly Hogwarts-themed dividers. Ooh, I'm going to pick my favorite one for my birthday. Mm -hmm. oh, let's see. Now you can also check out my Instagram. I'm going to post some pictures up there. Uh, more up close pictures. Oh, little gold scissors, come here. Okay, hold on a sec. I dropped the scissors. Alright, back with the little gold scissors. They were on the nightstand and then they went pew on the floor. Um, Alright, so here we go. Cutting them open. Cutting it open. I wonder if this will be easier to get into than the American Girl dolls. Which reminds me, I have like two unboxings of those to show off. But <laughs> I know I'm like really running behind, aren't I? And yes, that is one reason why I believe I have ADHD. <laughs> Not entirely, 
that's that's a whole nother video. <laughs> okay. So here we go. We're going to open the box. Alright. Alright. So we take off the plastic. We take out the Harry Potter. You know, it must be really awkward to be Daniel Radcliffe. He's forever memorized as like 11. That makes it really awkward. <laughs> Oops. Alright. My little cover already fell off. I mean, it didn't fall off. They, they go back on. They're like the happy planners in that. They just go back on. You see, you can just snap everything back together onto the rings. So it doesn't, probably just, see, it came off a little bit, but you can just snap it on. That's just not a big deal. So let's see. On the front, it says Lumos and spells wands at the ready. And then over here it says, all right, we're not going to pronounce that because I can't. Um, hiccuping solution, rat spleen mixture. Oh, doesn't that sound yummy? <laughs> yeah. And then it says inside, time to plan. Yeah. Hey, one moment. I can hear the cat, Hermione, at the door. All right. I let her in. So, yes. Here we go. And look, you can put it in. It says my house. Technically, I'm almost always a Hufflepuff or a Slytherin. I, I don't know. But there are many traits of both that I am both I am of. But I kind of prefer being Hufflepuff. My favorite characters are Hufflepuff. And I just feel if I had been sorted at 11 instead of 30, I probably would have been Hufflepuff. I sure as heck would never have been Slytherin at 11. <laughs> And uh, this has your goals, which we're going to put get car, number one. Oh, here's one of the monthlies, yeah, I guess. Oh, yes. This is how it's all set up with for the month. You can just set it up however you want for the dates. And I like how it's got, like, um... A polyjuice potion note there. That's pretty cool. Like it was actually a potions textbook. Yeah. And that's all it is. They're each page here with different things. And then you can, well, I guess that's what the things are for. For each week or month or however you wish to set it up, I suppose. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to like this book. A lot. Um, it's exactly kind of what I have in mind. I like here how you can put in your important dates for each month and the, your to-do list, which I suppose it could be monthly. But what you could also do, what I'm going to do is the basic ones that I do every day on this side. And then each day is going to have different things, you know, like, like film unboxing video, edit unboxing video, take cosplay photos, something like that that I don't typically do every single day. I mean, I usually do something fandom related, but I mean, I can't, I don't really want, put down watch Harry Potter. <laughs> I just kind of do that. And then my grandmother goes, are you watching Harry Potter again? And I go, yeah, I mean, there's eight movies. 10 if you count Fantastic Beasts. So yeah, I think this is going to be very nice. Oh look, this one is, the polyjuice potion itself. That's pretty cool. Each month is pretty much the same. and But here you got your end of month reflection. That's pretty nice. And I guess here you could put stickers or just some notes or whatever you have in mind for the end of the month. Or maybe that's where you, you could put, you know, you have accomplished said goals or something like that. Or... Whatever you wish. I don't know. Oh, look. This is one thing I really liked about this. You know, I could find it online. Um, Hogwarts school list. All right. So, um, I'm writing a Teddy Lupin goes to talk Hogwarts story. So, I might be using that for reference. So, thank you, Conquest. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. That was just a sticker that fell. Yeah, that's a remind me. There's supposed to be stickers in here. Here they are. They're in the back. Oh, that's very cool. At the end of it, it says year in review. Can you see that? There you go. 
and then you have your stickers which I'm going to gently rip out and you see you just pull them it's not actually ripping them at all because they have these little handy dandy perforations there and you could always put them back as well it's quite easy to put them back they're designed quite like uh, the happy planners which are easy to take pages in and out of and add all sorts of things if you have ever seen the happy planner this is pretty much the same kind of design but I think it has a little, a lot more decoration to it. It has a lot, obviously it's more phantom. I've never actually seen one of the Disney ones opened up. So perhaps it's similar. I don't know, but this is not done by Happy Planner. Although it is quite similar in its construction. The one thing though, they have the, can you see that? The little, uh, there you go, lightning bolt. And that is something that's quite unique. I've never seen these uh, bindings with a design in the middle before. And of course it's unique because it's Harry Potter and that's even better. Let's see, we have the first page of stickers. Maybe I shouldn't have put the light on. I was thinking it'd be easier. Then you have another page. And another page. Yeah, there's five pages. And these are the typical type planner stickers you'll see in a lot of different things but I always I really like them especially the ones that say like birthday and to do that way you can mark it and you don't have to necessarily um fill it out yourself I know I know a lot of people like filling it out themselves they like you know decorating it themselves but personally I prefer to buy something like this where it's already nice and themed it's already decorated and I don't have to do it myself I mean, I still intend to put my stickers in it because I love stickers. And this one's quite fun. It's got all these characters' birthdays. I know for a closer look at the pages, you can go to theconquestjournals.com and you can check out all the other ones they have as well. They do have a couple different Harry Potter ones. One is dated and they had a smaller one as well, but I believe it's small, uh, I've already sold out. So, because I initially kind of wanted that one. It has the Hogwarts castle on it but it sold out before I decided to spend the money. But you can also get different washi tapes and sticker sets. And of course they have supernatural stuff as well. And I don't know anything about supernatural, so I can't tell you much about that side. But if you're in the supernatural, you might want to check it out. Uh, they also have different sticker sets such as friends and I don't know what all, but because I really thought buying the friends ones for my sister. But again, I don't know what she would do with it either. <laughs> Oops. All right. So let me know. Do you use a planner? How do you use planner? Do you like the bullet journals? Because I like the idea of bullet journals, but I don't really like the execution of bullet journals. And so I decided to try this one and I hope it works. We'll see. And have you used a conquest journal before? Do you like them? Did I waste my money? No, I don't think I wasted my money. I quite like it so far. And we'll see how well it works for me. Alright, so y'all have a good day. And be nice to your customer service representatives. It's not their fault that something is sold out. Okay? Y'all have a good one.